good though, hey? Feels good. Yeah, we have to cut it off uh, during the video because the it's a the barrel fan style. Yeah. One of the bearings are going out in it, so. Ain't that amazing? It is. I don't make shit to last no more, do they? No, and uh, back last year, um, I took it apart, and you can get to the bearings. I mean, you have to disassemble the fan, but um, we disassembled it. We pressed the old one off, and the one that they sent us to replace it would not go on there. So I ended up having to put the old one back on, and they told me, yeah, we sent the wrong one. We'll get you the right one, and then I just never have got the right one so wow i guess they're still looking for it i don't i don't know that's some crap but we went through winter and then we started summer and it, it acted pretty good um but it's decided to start acting up again which i did um they're supposed to be non-serviceable but i did when we had it apart uh i took the little plastic piece and took it off and shoved some grease in it i guess it just finally the grease is wore out of it so wow I mean, match it up with something else online. And I think the closest thing that um, we did some measuring and some looking, and the closest thing was like a skateboard wheel, uh, this little skateboard bearings. Mm -hmm. So uh, I may end up buying a skateboard to rob the bearings out of. You can actually go down there to Zoomies and Tupelo and buy those bearings. I don't know where that is, but I'll look that it's up. Send them all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like my son would do that. He would like knock the old ones out of his wheel Cause you can use a socket. Yeah. You put the new bearing on top of the wheel, take a like a ten millimeter socket, and you can drive it right back down in there. Yep. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do then. I'll probably take it apart and run down there. And it's not that bad uh, during the video, but sometimes during the day, we're trying to talk to customers and we have to cut it off so we can hear them and stuff. So. <laughs> real fun, real fun. I hear that. Well, that's a good looking box. It is. It's just hard to beat a white box. A lot of people don't like them, but. It is very hard. I like them. So well, as you can see, the lock's actually off of that one. That's actually a repossession box. So, yeah. Uh, somebody would probably see the lock and wonder what was happening. So I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. That That's is a, a repossessed box. box. It was a voluntarily repossessed. It wasn't, you know. Right. That's some new jacks. We do. Those were on pre-order. Um, and they finally come in. That's the three-ton jacks. Um, if your dealer's got some of them right now, he's probably got a smoking good deal on it. So ask him what it costs and hook yourself up with it. It's going to be hard for me not to keep one of them because uh, I need one. But <laughs> put them on the truck first. Uh, she did that with her speaker, so I'm going to do it with my jack. And we're going to see how that goes. But, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had the jacks uh, that's been selling pretty good. We've been showing off our a little bitty mini ratchet set mm -hmm. with the bits yeah that's a cool little set yeah um these little ratchets come in handy with dash work and stuff like that um but they're also handy if you're having to reach behind something and can't get to it so um they got the torx a couple of allen's flats and then your common phillips so cool quick easy I got a new blow gun. Yeah, that's the blow gun that uh, was in the flyer. Um, it's got a different looking tip on it. Right? For years, you're used to like a blue or red handle and then the metal spout coming off. Mm -hmm. This is the one that they had in the flyer, so we ordered it. And we've sold, what, three of them so far? They got different lengths. They do have... Um, yeah, they do have one that has the metal tip. Okay. Um, yeah. So, there is a couple of different. So, what's the deal with the little? Does that just disperse the iron different or something? Yeah. Um, and it might even be. Um, I tell you what. Let me let her look that up. Kind of looks like a extra bladed Phillips or something showed up in there. Uh, like a four sided Phillips. Or five sided. So it says silent operation on it. Uh fitted with a silencer and a snub nose. Yeah, silencer I guess. Uh 
there's the different blowing forces. Uh, each one of them's got a little bit of different, 100 psi. It looks like on them. So that's pretty good blowing force. So the operating pressure would be from 50 to 235. Holy crap. I'd hate to hold that joker at 235. Right? <laughs> uh, corrosion resistance um, and a variable speed trigger. Could you imagine trying to hold one of those, um, the ones that you flush out your radiator with at 235 PSI? Shoot, no. <laughs> <laughs> be like those. They'd be spinning around like an iron windmill you know and i'm surprised at the amount of people that still don't know that those exist yeah. we had a customer yesterday that was super impressed they bought the one that we had and uh was impressed that that's what that was for mm -hmm. so if you didn't know they make a long yeah. i got a real long one like we clean out truck air filters stuff that's like right that. air filters radiators a couple of different stuff there. it's always funny watching somebody that ain't never messed with one hook it up mash the button the first time because they're going to plug it up in front of them you know with their hands in front of them like you would anything and then yep. they're going to hit that button and then it's going <laughs> it's, right it's, it's an adventure you're right so if y'all got a new guy in the shop and y'all have one of them hand it to him and just watch like record it it'd be funny <laughs> i promise yeah it's kind of like the people that play the tricks with uh um tire bead set setters yeah um, everybody calls them, them different tire buckets. cannons and stuff yeah <laughs> it's a little different do have a new light as well it's a rechargeable uh, focusing so you can focus it in um, we've offered this light before and the it's it's a little different but um, we've offered it in the maroon now they got it in the blue um, and it does have the charger built into it so you're not looking for it and then of course we do have where we can plug in to it as well so Hmm. Nice little light. Uh, can't ever have enough lights, um, especially it's when a different looking light. Isn't it? it is. It's different. Um, I know Milwaukee just released a new light that we're actually still waiting on. Um, seems like everybody releases their lights about the same time. Gonna have new lights. Gonna That's probably lights. the most sold thing on a tool truck. Lights uh, are one of the most between flashlights and work lights and blade lights and UV lights and yep, like. That's why every tool truck releases a new light every two weeks. It sounds like, you know. yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, and then something that we actually had somebody order that I've been talking to a couple guys. I've showed it to a couple people. Um, I didn't know that they were out there, but I've never really made a lot of gaskets myself. So, but they have these here and, uh, it's just a gasket cutting kit. So if you're doing a whole lot of gaskets, um, I know on like uh, certain brands and stuff, it's hard to find the gaskets and right. stuff. You know, you can buy the gasket material. Well, we've actually got the hole punches or a gasket cutter, I guess right. I should say. So no more taking the razor blade and mm -hmm. trying to cut it. You can actually just put it on there and actually hit it. My grandfather taught me when I was young, you would take and use the back end of a ball paint hammer and you could tap it around it. Yeah. And cut it that way, but yeah. obviously that's a lot cleaner. We actually sold this to a tractor place. Apparently they had to make a bunch of their gaskets. Yep. And uh, I've seen a lot of techniques. I've seen people use sockets and just mm -hmm. a bunch of different stuff. Um, but he thinks this will make it quicker and easier and I gotta agree with him, it probably yep. will. So Guarantee it will. Um, we're gonna drop it off today, but I thought I'd show it on the video anyway. It's pretty neat. And uh, if you're making a lot of gaskets, be sure to pick it up. There you go. Make life easy. That's it. I got some new hats, too. Those are cool. We do have new hats. Uh, Mako's been uh, putting them on sale, so we've been grabbing them up while they're on sale. And there you go. Usually sell them the day we put them up, so we hung those up this morning, so we'll see if they last. Yep. Through the day. Well, the greatest weekend on earth is upon us. That's it. That's it. Opening, a good three day opening. weekend. Well, I was talking about opening football season Saturday. Yeah, well, I actually. Like this, uh, to me, that's like the Christmas of uh, the year out there. Well, you know, I watched uh, last weekend, they had one game on. It mm -hmm. was in Ireland. And then uh, last night, they had several games on. So I watched them. So I think they said it was like five days of football. I yeah. think that's what they said. So. Well, I'm ready to watch them old Miss Rebels come out and show out this year. We'll see how they do. So. As long as they don't uh, I think Lane's stumble. built him a pretty good little team. 
not used to hearing uh, all the sports people that be brag on them as well. But uh, from my understanding, when I watched it the other day, just about all of them agreed that he's built a team that's going to be that's going to be competitive. When I watched the rankings fall down and uh, Ole Miss was above Alabama, I was like, oh lord, here we go. <laughs> right. All them people around here that jumped on the Alabama bandwagon be peeling them eyes off and we don't want you back. We don't want you back. <laughs> Just stay over there. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see how they're going to do with a new coach. Yeah. I think that'd be fine. We, Alabama's got the money and the legacy. And... Yeah. I still think there might be a little bit of a stumble. I yeah. Don't, uh, I don't think it's going to be nothing huge, but I think that'd be fine. Be a little bit of a learning curve anyway. Hard to beat the SEC. It is. Texas and really Oklahoma did. are going to give it a try anyway. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Enjoy your college football weekend because it is finally here. That's right. Ready to go. Y'all yeah, have a great weekend. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click the button. Y'all yeah, have a great one. See ya.